Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today for Small Business Chat with KJS, we're going all the way to Arizona where we're talking to Rhonda. Now Rhonda, she uses these pool lava beads and essential oils to make jewelry. It's awesome and her business is called Lava Stone Essentials. And you know what? You already know what I'm gonna say. Let's just get right into the interview. Hi, Rhonda. How are you doing today? Hi, I'm good, Francis. How are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm glad you're doing good. So, Rhonda, tell us about yourself. Well, um, I'm an empty nester. <laughs> I live in Arizona. Uh, I have a grown and married daughter, and I take care of my um, mother-in-law. Mm -hmm. She lives with us, and um, so I'm kind of like her... I don't. I, I cook for her and just take care of her because she wasn't in good health when she moved in. But she's doing much much better now. Nice. So that's pretty much what I do. <laughs> nice. It's always good when we can take care of loved ones and we can see their health get better because of our, our you know our care and our love. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah. So I was letting the um, viewers know that you're going to be talking about beads that you put essential oils on it. So tell us about your business. Yeah. So um, it's Lava Stone Essentials and. Um, lava stones are great for absorbing essential oil. So they're very porous. They're actually made out of volcanic rock. Ooh. So, um, you know, they, I think basically that rock is black and they end up, you know, refining it somehow to make it a different color. So now it comes in tons and tons of colors. So I make jewelry out of uh, the lava rocks with other beads. So you can use your essential oils. And right now, like I'm wearing this necklace and these earrings and this bracelet and they all have rosemary on it. Oh wow. And rosemary is good. Well, first of all, you can actually cook with the essential oil. You you just need a teeny teeny bit instead of maybe using the plant because it's very potent. And rosemary is really good for focus and concentration. Oh wow, I did not know that. Yeah, so it's it smells really good and um I started doing this um, kind of at the beginning of the pandemic. I lost my job <laughs> because, because directly because of the pandemic, uh, because of the kind of work I did. And so I got into essential oils and I was invited to an essential oil class. And I thought, oh, that was really cool. And I've always wanted to learn about it. Mm -hmm. And I saw that a lot of the sites um, sold jewelry mm -hmm. to use with your essential oils. But to, to me, it was very masculine. Mm -hmm. And I'm a, I'm a girly girl. Yeah, yeah. You can see I'm a girly girl. So I'm like, oh, I, I mean, it's fine for someone else. It just yeah. wasn't for me. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I probably could. And I, I've been making jewelry for over 20 years. Okay. So this was, and I had stopped. I had just kind of, you know, kind of lost my desire to make jewelry. I mean, I have hundreds of pieces of jewelry, but I kind of had lost my desire to do it but once I got into this I was like oh I've got all these cool designs and I you know so it kind of sparked me to want to make jewelry again but just try something completely different than, than what I was doing wow that's yeah. awesome that's awesome. Yeah. I like that you reach yes. the creative outlet and turn it into a new that's awesome yes so you probably already gave the definition of your name describing mm -hmm. what you do but just in case I'm wrong how did you come up with the name Lava Stone Essential yeah so um again I, I again i had just learned about this again the pandemic i didn't know anything about essential oils i knew that people were using them i knew they were supposed to be really awesome but i really didn't know so i took some classes and and things and then like i said i discovered the lava beads just by looking at their websites like you know what they had to offer or, you know scrolling mm -hmm. mindless scrolling through stuff, <laughs> websites and i saw that they had this jewelry they just had bracelets but i saw these lava beads so sure enough, I looked up lava beads on um, Amazon mm -hmm. or Etsy, and I saw them. And of course, they came in all these colors. So it's lava stone is one of the names for it, lava stone. And then you add your essential oils to them. So that way you can wear your essential oils and smell. Like right now, I can smell that rosemary. It's on my bracelets, on my earrings, it's on my necklace. Um, and so you kind of get that effect, whether it's whether it's something you need to help you relax and feel mm -hmm. calmer. Maybe you're, you know, kind of feeling some anxiety and there's oils to help you feel calm. And there's also oils to help you kind of feel rejuvenated. Mm -hmm. And like I said, the rosemary is good for uh, 
mental focus and concentration. And they say it's also good for people that have Alzheimer's. I mean, I don't know how well it works. I don't have anybody around me with Alzheimer's, but um, you know, if you diffuse it in the air, it just, it um, oils react with the cells in your body. Mm -hmm. And um, that's how they work. But I just know I like the way it smells. <laughs> yeah, well, if it really do help with focus, I need some of that because Lord, I lose focus all the time. So I have a question. So can yeah. you, so with the rose, with the earrings you have on, you say you have rosemary. Now, do you have to continue using just one essential oil with them beads if you already start? Or could you use You different? can mix. You can mix. You kind of just kind of... Uh, um, like the other day on my on my Instagram page, I have I started making some keychains. My husband um, has some anxiety uh, mm -hmm. issues, and so I I made him a keychain to take with him and uh, to put something on there to calm your nerves. Mm -hmm. And um, so it has five beads on it. So I put rosemary on one of the beads, and then I put peppermint, which is also good for mental clarity, on two of the beads, and then I put. Um, what was the other one? Peppermint, rosemary, lemongrass. Oh. Lemongrass smells really good. And so five beads, I put three different oils and that's okay because a lot of these companies like Young Living or doTERRA, you know, the, uh, the very high quality oil companies, they have lots of blends where they blend different things together to combine them. So yeah, you can, you can use as many oils, but what I will say, as far as oils go, um, I make a couple different kinds. Um, citrus oils are very potent mm -hmm. so i would never use citrus oil because like lemon degrades plastic mm -hmm. so if you would put lemon on this is a silicone elastic it could actually start to weaken that elastic in there because oh. it will soak into the elastic when i again when i didn't know that much about oils i started making some and i would put you know lemon or orange because it's they're happy right yeah and all of a sudden i'd be wearing my bracelet and it would just be stretching out stretching out oh, <laughs> i didn't know wow. why <laughs> And then I did more research and it said, don't use citrus oils because they're, they're very potent and they will yeah. actually eat. Through. And they also, I, I also don't recommend using citrus oils on these because they have metal findings on them. Mm -hmm. And then the metal findings will start to tarnish. Oh, okay. lavender is great. There's a lot of other ones. And when people order um, jewelry from me on Instagram, I send them a tiny sample of lavender. Mm -hmm. And if I don't have lavender in the house, I'll send them something else that I know is safe to use with their jewelry. That way they can start using it right away. Right away. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So, okay, so you can mix and match these. So how about, okay, so the earrings you have one now, right? Would mm -hmm. you still only have to use the, um, which one do you have in there? Rosemary. Rosemary. Or yeah. can you use a different one? Or do you, if you already put one on one bead. Like you can, you can, com you can put more on there. Okay. Yeah. You have to just let it, I say do it over, you know, a paper towel or a towel or a napkin, or for me, you know, I do Norwex too. I put it over my Norwex cloth and you let it absorb. Okay. Because if you put too much oil, it just takes a few minutes extra. I say let it absorb at least 15, 20 minutes. But if you're adding more oil, let it absorb longer. So what I do in the morning when I get up, I always decide what my jewelry I'm going to wear, <laughs> you know, if I'm going to the, you know, a meeting or something. And I already know what I'm going to wear. And then I get up in the morning and I put my oils on my jewelry. And you can, like I said, you can combine them as long as it's not citrus. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, and then I get ready and do my thing. And right before I leave, I put my jewelry on and then my oils have already absorbed into those stones. Oh, okay. I've never had a problem with oil staining anything. It's not like, you know, it's not like an olive oil or a cooking oil or a coconut oil. It's very different. I've never had a problem with staining, but I don't want anybody to take a chance. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. So if I, so I want to make sure I got it straight. Yeah. Mix and match oils. And if I use a one B, if I use um, rosemary, then a few months later, I have to still use rosemary? Is no, that anything you want. The, the oil only stays in the bead, like the scent only stays in the bead. Uh, it's strong for about 24 hours and then it gets less and less. Got you. Okay. Yeah. So, at, you know, it, like I haven't worn these earrings in probably two weeks. So I definitely had to reapply some oil to it. Okay. Awesome. That's good to know. Now, I know you showed us a little bit. You showed us the jewelry you have on. Do you have any more goodies you want to show us? So we can yeah. So I make a couple different kinds. Like I said, I make um, some with toggles on them mm -hmm. and I make, you know, gun metal. This one's a gun metal. I make, you know, 
their costume jewelry. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to be honest with you. Their costume jewelry. This is not real gold. <laughs> yeah. It would be a lot higher priced if it was. Um, it's costume yeah. jewelry. I do some with rose gold uh, and the rose gold um, clasp, but I do some with elastic. And this is one that I've got right now. This is called, I'm calling it, I can't decide because you get seven elastic bangles and these are metallic. These are metallic. Oh, them are cute. Yeah. And so they got, they're all metallic. And, you know, so these, they absorb oil, even though they are a lava bead covered with a metallic, whatever they use. Um, so I call this, this set, I can't decide. And you can <laughs> <stop them. laughs> So guys, she can't decide. So if y'all have a, a thought for her or an idea, let us know in the comments. And so, so we can figure it out. We're going to help her out guys. So she can't decide what to call them. <laughs> so anyway, but this one, you get all seven bracelets for one price. Nice. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, and then I do a couple different kinds of earrings. I do these that are like little hoops and I can make them as big, you know, or short as you like. So okay. I've had some that are like this, this long. I love it. And I have extra beads. I call it like this teardrop. Yeah. I make that kind. And again, that's a metallic lava bead. And then um, I do this style, which is a pretty simple, you know, just a pretty simple um, drop on a that's chain. That's really pretty. Yeah. And then um, I do this one, which is you, you, it kind of has two chains on it. So it kind of has a lot of movement in there because mm-hmm. it's attached at the, at the bottom. But then I also do this one, which is a lot of fun, where I put some lava beads at the end of two different uh, chains. Ooh, that is like, really yeah, great. Yeah. And these are, again, these are both, you know, these are both lava stones. So um, that's a kind of the four styles of earrings that I do. And then I started doing some necklaces. Now necklaces, there are some oils called hot oils. Mm-hmm. So you would not want those directly on your skin. Like cinnamon is yeah. a hot oil. Um, clove is a hot oil. So this one I would suggest maybe some lavender. So this is like a little, it's kind of like a, probably goes down to here, okay. but it's got tiger's eye in it. Ooh. And then it's got brown lava stones. And um, and the rest of it's all glass. That is pretty. Yeah, so that's one new style. And then I tried this one. This is, um, these are actually some clay beads that I got from another um, girl on Instagram. Uh, mm-hmm. Who made these for me? I can't remember which one it was, I'm so sorry. <laughs> There's a couple of them that are doing clay jewelry, but um, I ordered some earrings from her and she actually sent me a couple extra of her beads. And so this is like little leaves, whoops, leaves on this one with some lava stones. Well, that is pretty. Yeah. And so it's got the regular lava stones and then it's also got the metallic mm-hmm. lava stone in there. And then it's got this leaf dangle at the bottom. That is pretty. Yeah. So that's kind of a experiment again but i but for necklaces because it's so close to your neck like the rosemary is not bothering me at all it's not hot oil but some oils are hot and they you'll they'll just kind of burn or tingle your skin a little bit they're not going to damage your skin but you'll feel the tingling like Ooh, yeah, yeah. i feel like my skin is on fire <laughs> And trust we me, don't want that. I made that mistake before. <laughs> so now you speaking from experience. So she okay, exactly. I'm like, Woo! <laughs> not going to use the hot oil. You know, yeah. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like here, it probably wouldn't matter so much because they're not touching my skin. <laughs> but, um, but anyway, yeah, I just think they're fun because especially now with so many people being allergic to perfume. You know how it is, you know, you go into a building, a lot of them say, please don't use perfume mm-hmm. out of respect for other people. So we, we do, and I was a perfume wearer. I love perfume, but I had, I used to work, you know, retail and I used to work with shops where I had to sell perfume. So of course I would get it at a discount. And so I had a bunch, but I have almost totally eliminated my perfume. I probably have this much left in two different bottles and I don't buy it anymore. Wow. So I just use my essential oils and some of them smell so good. Like, I, you know, I walk into the meeting and Sunday morning and I might have lemongrass on my bracelet and, you know, I give someone a hug and they're like, oh, you smell so good. And it's just, it's just the essential oil. I'm not wearing any perfume. I might have to try that out, Rhonda. Yeah. <laughs> I was, because, you know, I follow a few people who do the lava songs and I was yes. always, you know, intrigued about what it was. So I'm glad we did this interview. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's and I, you know, I, I, I follow them too, and I like to see, you know, the kind of things. And everybody's doing something different. Like you yeah. talked about on one of your other videos, we're all lot. Some of us are doing similar things, but we all have a different take on it. Yeah, it's a different. Yeah. So we our own our own design or our own yeah. flavor to it. And that's like <laughs> for us to support each other. Like you know, I make earrings, but you also make earrings. So, but it's good for us to support. I don't do lava beads. I just you made these for me. Oh, look at your earrings. Yes. You was one of my yes. first ones. And these are for my Norwex business. And it just says Norwex Independent Sales Consultant. And Norwex is nice. But Norwex is says you can make your own stuff if you like. But that's all it can say. Yes. So you made me several. And I gave them to my consultants under me. Yes. So I bought several pairs of these. And then I, I mailed them to my consultants under me. So yes. uh, and anyway, these are a lot of fun. And these are, you know, really big. I love them. Yeah, I love <laughs> the earrings, as you can tell. <laughs> that's what it's on. Oh, that home yes. is our logo and you did such a great job with that logo <laughs> thank you yeah we have to support each other we can win we can i say it's uh, it's enough business for all of us it's a big old world out there right mm -hmm. so you showed us some of your awesome jewelry Rhonda. so now these interviews are for people who's not on social media so if somebody was watching if i was watching i'm not on instagram or facebook how can i contact you if i wanted some jewelry um well right now i'm only on instagram and I mean, and Facebook sometimes, uh, sometimes my Instagram does not connect over to my Facebook. I don't know. It's, it's, it's having problems. Um, but right now I'm only on Instagram, uh, but they can always email me. Okay. RJ, R, I'm sorry, R Broviac at gmail.com. Okay. And, and if they it. want to contact me that way, I can always send them some pictures of what I have available. Every piece of jewelry I have is one of a kind. I do not make duplicates. Okay. So if, you know, if you see something and you like it, you got to snag it. Yes. That's, that's it. my type of, you my type. That's how I am. I'm like, listen, I want to make one of a kind jewelry. I don't want to make duplicates. I love one of a kind because that's just how I am. So it's funny, my, you know, Norma from Camel Creations, mm. I said, Norma, I'm buying these earrings. You can't make these again. You got to this. <laughs> Cause I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, I, I mean, you made these, but I asked you to make me a yes. couple of pairs because I was going to give them out. But I'm, yeah, I'm the same way. In fact, we have a conference coming up, so I, I don't know if you'll get some business out of it. We have a conference oh. coming up soon, and I'm going to have my consultants that are going to the conference. Not all of them are, but I'm going to have us all take a picture wearing our earrings, oh. and I'm going to post that. Thank you. And I'm going to tag Norwex Thank in case you. any other consultants. Oh, actually. You made, you had an extra pair. You said they were a mistake because you yes. were just, and and so I had an extra pair and another Norwex consultant saw me posing with my pictures and she said, can I please get those earrings from you? <laughs> and so she bought those earrings from me. And so, um, and she wears them. She does her Norwex at um, farmer's markets and she wears her earrings. She takes pictures of them at her farmer's market and wearing their earrings. I'm so glad. I'm glad I can see. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't just toss them away. I'm like, you can have these free of charge because it's my. I didn't notice any mistake in them. I mean, I couldn't tell where the mistake was. I know you're, you know, you know your stuff, so yes. you know. But I didn't see, and she loves them. Awesome. And she, she wears them at all her farmers markets. So awesome. But yeah, I'll do that, and then I'll send a picture, and I'll tag Norwex, and and they're legal. They're in the what do they call it? Com compliance. Oh, okay. <laughs> in compliance. But see, we help. What do Nance touch? She had that saying, is it, um, don't be, we not, um, what she say? She said, we not in competition. It's a corrupt co-opetition. Yes. So we in co-opetition. I love it. I yes. Love it. See, Nance touch, you're getting a shout out, even though it's not even your video. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Nance touch, but Nance I have her soap. I have Candace, her soap. yes. I have her foot scrub. But see, this is about, this is Candace. It's not about you right now. This is about lava stone essential. <laughs> Yeah, so anybody, but they, you know, they can um, see me at Lava Stone Essentials on Instagram. That's my Instagram name. Or if for some reason they're not on social media, they can contact me through rbroviac at gmail.com. I actually am working on a, I'm working on getting a website and all that now. I'm actually doing that right now. And, you know, it takes time. Yeah. But um, I can always send them pictures through email okay. and say, hey, this is what I have available. If you like this, if you love essential oils and you want to try some, like I said, I always send us little sample bottles so they, you know, because there are some oils that aren't high quality and there's some that are really good and you might not know where to get it or what's high yeah. quality. And I, I always send high quality essential oil to you. Nice. I don't just go to the store and pick it up. <laughs> nice. So guys, you heard her. She said, I'm going to put her email down in the description below. 
So if you want to check out some of her items, you know, just send her email and she will send you a picture. And if you see it, if she sent you a picture and you like it, y'all heard her. Her stuff is one of a kind. She don't make duplicates, so make sure y'all jump on it. So again, her email is down in the description. Shoot her email if y'all want to see something. So Rhonda, right. is there anything else you would like to show us or anything else we would like you would like for us to know? Um, no, I think that's it. I mean, I showed you my different styles. I mean, I have a bunch, but you know, we don't have time for that. I have a bunch. I just showed you kind of the different categories of things yes. that I make. Yes, but I have lots of different styles and I will custom make. I can't guarantee I can always get the specific beads, but if you have a color, like I actually did some for Candace, she was looking for a kind of a color, uh, what do they call it? A color scheme. Mm -hmm. a color scheme yeah and i'll make it for you and before i you know before i put the clasps on it and finish it off i'll just say do you like it and i can send you a picture and you know you can tell me if it's something you like and then if you like it then i'll finish it off for you but yeah i, I do i do custom pieces as well if you're trying to match now no i might have you do like one of the colors on my logo and see how that goes. Mm -hmm. i can wear it to different um um craft shows and stuff so definitely yeah okay Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in to another episode of Small Business Chat with KJS. Um, and if you really enjoyed this video, make sure you like it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notifications. Also, if you want more interviews, just click this right here, this box, and it will take you to my um, the whole playlist of the Small Business Chat. So you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.